Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can make coins right now in FIFA 23 during the World Cup season. We're getting a lot of objective, SBC, and impacts World Cup content, but of course, all of us need coins to have fun on FIFA. So what I want to do today is look through a lot of trading methods, whether you're on a low budget, 0 to 100,000 coins, a high budget, 1 million coins plus, or anywhere in between. We're going to talk through a lot of trading methods that you can do, like live live trading in the game, or maybe a little bit of investing that you can do beforehand, waiting for some specific content to drop. So a lot of trading talk today in this video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with the low budget, right? Because there are so many SBCs that EA are dropping during this World Cup content that is very, very profitable from. Think about these specific nation SBCs that give out packs. These are money makers if you like trading with low budget cards or if you're less than 100k budget this is the number one place where i'd be trading every single day in the game because this makes cards that normally are not that expensive go up in value and i think there's an investment potential here and trading potential of course the serbia sbc is one of the many that ea have been releasing that just require different cards from the specific nation that is featured right we've had a fifa world cup challenge qatar we've had a fifa world cup challenge england sbc right now what really comes down to what makes the card moves on cards move on the market with these sbcs is the pack right now for the serbia sbc it's a rare electron players pack which is a pretty solid pack and it's tradable so right now if you go and take a look at the market we noticed that there was a serbian player requirement in that sbc if you could take a look at any serbian player on this market right now they are selling for around two thousand coins bronzes golds silvers they're all 2k because people are going out and doing that sbc now you might be like nate how can i trade with these cards right now well what you could do you can try to sweat it out you can get on some bids you can get on some snipes right just knowing that all serbian players sell right now for 2k there's an opportunity to trade there but i think there's an investment potential here if you take a look at some of the other nations that may be in the world cup or that are in the world cup that have not had an sbc released yet you look at some cards from like Senegal or maybe Cameroon or maybe Korea, right? Bronzes, silvers, and golds from these countries that maybe don't have that many cards in the game. Iran players would be one. Uh, Iran players went up a, a lot earlier in the week for a potential uh, leak. But, you know, watch through some of these nations. Maybe even it's Denmark, right? How much are gold Denmark players? Are they at this card right now? Yeah, it's 550 for, for gold Denmark cards. There's probably going to be some sort of SBC just like the one that we have here for Serbia that requires those cards from those specific nations. And I think, depending on the pack, it could be a really, really good opportunity to just stock your club with a few of those. I mean, a lot of the cards you're going to be buying are at discard anyways. Uh, so I wouldn't be paying too much over discard or the golds or the bronzes or silvers that you're going to be buying. Uh, but there's really like no risk there. And there's a lot of potential because if EA drop an SBC or if your nation gets featured in marquee matchups, those are the two SBCs that are moving the market right now on the lower tier, right? Ecuadorian players are all like three or 4,000 coins just because of this marquee matchups SBC. All Portugal center attacking mids are up. And even some of them were like 3,000 coins on Thursday this last week when marquee matchups was released. So you can invest in this stuff ahead of time if you think like, okay, this next week, the biggest games that are going to be played in the World Cup uh, are going to be between these different nations, right? You probably wouldn't see any of these nations that are in here right now duplicated and in again next week. So just kind of, you know, think about that. But between marquee matchups and the FIFA World Cup Challenge SBCs featuring each country in the World Cup, there's a lot of coins to be made with those cards in the market. Now, if you're like, Nate, how do I find what cards are up in price at any time? If I'm on a low tier budget and just want to grind the market, this is how you do it. Go to the Players tab on Footbin, hit FIFA 23 Players, go to Version, scroll down to either Gold, non rare Silvers, Bronze, whatever you're wanting to look at. I like doing Gold, non rares and then click the Price button, and that's going to filter all of the Gold, non rares that are in the game by price. And as you can see, a lot of the Serbian cards are in here, 2,000 coins a piece. Some of those Ecuadorian players, 4,000 coins a piece. But you can look through here and find cards and look through cards that maybe sell for a little bit more. And maybe you go onto the market and you can find yourself a filter or find yourself a player that you want to go and snipe. Like Lanzini shows for 1,100 coins right now on the market. That seems to be up, right? Maybe you're looking at this video a couple days later, he's back down to 700 coins. That could be a big time buy opportunity because 
because you can see that he fluctuates a lot when specific SPCs are dropped. And I think he is up in price because of marquee matchups, needing three different center attacking mid players. You can see right here, Fornals, Jesse Lingard, all over a thousand coins as non-rares because that SPC has three center attacking mid spots in it and you need them in position to get chemistry. So that's a good way for in a low budget to try to make coins and to be looking around the market. Now, let's start moving up the budget a little bit. This is still kind of a low budget method and it's kind of an investment, right? But what we're gonna be looking at during this World Cup as well are live path to glory items and we're getting a lot of these released we've already had two teams released and we've got a couple guys in here uh that are around this card right especially this afif card and some of these other like Azmoon, shakiri um or Sh shakiri not shakiri the um switzerland player but shakiri the tunisian player these cards at discard value are automatic club stocks any live card at discard value is one that you should buy and put in your club i think people are looking at this qatarian player because of course they play tomorrow for the first game of the world cup against ecuador which means his game is coming up very soon and of course this card gets upgraded if they make it out of the group stage but what these card prices could be impacted by right away in these first couple of games are teams that are underdogs that are not expected to win like Qatar versus Ecuador you pop one of these into your club let's say Qatar score first this guy might jump up to about 15 17,000 coins after a goal on the in the actual World Cup since these cards are live there is so much movement that is going to be happening with these throughout the week so for a low budget I would say go in if you've got maybe 50, 60, 70,000 coins, and you're trading at the same time, you can make a cheeky little discard investment here if you want to. Buy one or two, put it on your transfer list, hope that they score a goal, and if they don't, you'll get your coins right back because they're literally at discard value. So even as Moon, right? I know that Iran is playing England on Monday, but... If, if Iran were to somehow score first, if Taremi scores a banger and they go up 1-0, this Asmoon's probably going to jump up to like 15, 16,000 coins because of that goal that was scored, right? So that's what I would watch out for with these discard Path to Glory cards, even though the ones that are from Team 1, right? I mean, Plata is up a little bit already, but Osorio, I would stock him in the club. Delaney is at his minimum price of 20K. Uh, you could be careful with that one, but maybe stock one in the club. Oviedo from Costa Rica, you never know what nation is going to score a goal and be a bit of an underdog and all of a sudden, you know, get some hype. And especially that would transfer over to live cards in FIFA. Again, the price, the, the profits here may not be that massive. Uh, but they'll be they'll be nice enough to where buying one at discard, getting one on bid uh, at a, a 10, 11,000 coins is going to be an investment opportunity for all of us on this game. Now, that brings me to talk about these Path to Glory live cards even more because these cards are all over the game right now, right? We have Team 2 that is in packs for only a couple more days. They're only in packs until Wednesday. Of course, we have Black Friday coming. That might be the reason why. But these cards as live items, people are investing in so much. And I think if you're in a middle to higher tier budget, these are absolutely cards that you can invest in during the low times. Now, it's all about the timing, right? Like some of these guys are still brand new and fresh to pack. So it may not be the best idea to be investing in them right now. Just quick flip trading with them, which is very viable as well. We'll talk about that um, here in a second. But, you know, investing in these cards for the long term if it's a nation that you expect to do well during the World Cup, if you time the buy time right, you will be getting some of these cards at really, really good prices and you will be able to hold on to them and see them rise over time, right? Live cards always do well in FIFA as long as they still have an opportunity to upgrade and they're still like in the competition. Think about ones to watch cards like Renato Sanchez ones to watch. You know, these guys, some of these guys didn't even crash in price with the big market crash that we had heading into the World Cup promo, right? Renato Sanchez, Renato Sanchez actually went up even further because there's still that upgrade hype on this card. As I look at the current Path to Glory cards that are in packs, I think there will be an investment potential time period in the next three days or so, right? Before we head into Wednesday and these guys go out of packs and the games start going, I look at guys like Bruno Guimaraes, who is Brazilian, right? People think Brazil is going to go a long way in the World Cup. They will invest in this card, not just because of the stats that he has and because he's kind of a hype player with Premier League links and with solid stats. Do I think this is a 270,000 coin card if it's not live with the potential to upgrade? Absolutely not. But since he's Brazilian, there's hype. Couto Romero, 86 rated, 145,000 coins. Tottenham Spurs player, 
right? Premier League links and Argentinian links potential to rise there because Argentina are one of the favorites in the World Cup, right? That is the kind of stuff that you can be looking for in terms of investment here. If you think there's going to be a nation that does well, of course, there's always that gamble aspect of it that you're investing in live items because if the team loses or, or underperforms or, you know, that, that could be a loss of coins potential there. I would just be careful investing. I know we talked about uh, Bruno Guimaraes and, and the Brazilians being, you know, some of the favorites to win the World Cup, let alone be successful in this tournament. Uh, just be careful investing in the favorites because, you know, some of these guys, If I feel like there's a bigger potential loss of coins on a Bruno Guimaraes, on an Nkunku card that is very, very expensive right now. If if a nation flops, right? Like a lot of people are looking at France and saying, mm, could France flop because of all the injuries that they have been having? You know, there's potential for some big coin losses on these cards. But the ones and the, the nations that do well over the group stages and into the knockout stage, those Path to Glory cards will absolutely rise in price because they are live. So I really like that investment there, but you're going to have to pick your time right during the weekend. Just continue to monitor the card prices. Uh, I think that sometime between Sunday and Monday will probably be the lowest point for these Path to Glory cards from team number two. Now that's a bit of an investing opportunity with those. Let's talk about trading with these Path to Glory cards because that is something that I have been doing a lot in the past day or two. Since they are live, since they are brand new and hype, these cards move a lot on the market. I bought Pulisic this morning for about 80,000 coins. It's small profits, but these guys fluctuate so much in price. I, I would love to show you the graphs right now of all of the movement that has been happening, right? This Papu Gomez is 466,000 coins. I, I was able to buy three Papu Gomez this morning at 420,000 coins and below. He's all the way back up to 460. So I'm making like, what, like 20,000 coins a card about right now because he's up about um, 45,000 coins from where he was. So we factor in the 5% tax and we like that profit there, right? There's a lot of fluctuations with these cards. You see them go up and down all the time because they are live. They just move a lot, right? And there's always, there's always panic selling on the weekends with these cards because people try them out, right? There's demand for them because they're brand new and people try them out, but there's also panic selling uh, because... People know their impacts and people are worried about what content is, is up and coming and stuff like that. So for a middle to high tier budget, I really like investing in these sorts of guys and trading with them as well. And also, we, we have to talk about these World Cup heroes. Now, right now, there's a big pack that has been dropped uh, in the code that there's going to be a World Cup hero upgrade pack. And that has made some panic selling happening on the mar market today. Alo Arian is 640k. After last night, he was about 700. He's been dropping all day. And if you know how to fluctuation trade, and if you know how to watch these card prices, I know that's what a lot of you guys say, Nate, how do you fluctuation trade with these cards? These hero cards, out of packs and in packs, are going to be absolutely fantastic to fluctuation trade with. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit next, right? What we've seen today is a big drop off in these prices. How about Jill Cole, right? 350,000 coins. That is down like over 50k from where he was yesterday. Of course, he's still brand new to packs, brand new card into the game. But if we if we take an example of like an icon, right? Let's think of like base Canavaro. Think about an icon in this game. You take a look at their price graph and you can see these guys move around every single day. 260k, he peaks at 290,000 coins. Canavaro, right? Yesterday, he was 270. Today, he's been as high as, well, almost 280,000 coins right now. Just using this card as an example, you know that Canavaro kind of swings between 260 and 290,000 coins right on the market. And right now he's around 280K. So if I see this guy anywhere below 260, I'm going to buy because I know that probably some point over the next day or two, I'll be able to sell him at 290,000 coins. This trading method works the best with icons and heroes, right? This is one of my favorite trading methods. I do it all the time during the year, and it works the be best with these cards because they are very rare and they fluctuate a lot. They're very rare, but they're also in demand as we just sold another Papo Gomez, right? This is fluctuation trading as well. Looking through these cards, even though it's a bit of like trend trading at the same time, because you are like, you know, buying and selling them based off of some panic selling and stuff like that. 450 for that Papu. I'm gonna list mine up again at 469. So that's one thing that I would do if you're on a higher budget, not even in investing, right? That's just straight up trading. You can see 420,000 coins. I'm gonna list this right now and be that guy and undercut 1K. I also bought some uh, Lozano this morning at around 180. So I'm gonna go take a look at him on the market because 
This is another one of those Path to Glory cards that I saw get sold off today, right? This is the number one way of making coins for me in FIFA is this, just this fluctuation. Uh, you pick a very high demand card that moves a lot in price. You can see Chucky Lozano is like 189, 190K, but I'm searching at 200,000 coins and there's only one page of these, unless the, the market is glitched. There's only one page of these on the market. So, um, you know, that looks pretty good to me for being something that I will hopefully see bounce up another like five to 10K and we'll get we'll get out there and we'll sell that card but again the biggest advice i can give you when you're trading with these cards is quick flips you might be like nate you sold all these at 469,000 coins but there's only like three cards to 500k for this gomez yes but i'm getting kind of close to 6 p.m content right now it is two hours until 6 p.m content and what i've seen with this card is uh, you just need to be very look at this man. I just sold them for 469 and now there's three listings that have popped up 460 450 453 so Be very careful and just take the profit when it's there, right? The quick flips are the biggest suggestion that I can give you if you're trading with icons or with heroes or with any of these cards on the market be very fast to be in and out of these cards don't hold them for forever um you know if it's something that's going to go into your team that you're going to use for a while then you're not as worried about losing coins on it but just be very very careful with these cards um because i think the quick flips are the way to go now alawarian was just 640 right it looks like he is bouncing back up and his panic selling is ending so this would be a great time for me if i was trying to flip this alawarian card to sit here and try to snipe this card that's one of the best things to do if you're watching a card that is down a lot in price and you know that it's a rare card that is either out of packs or just a very rare card in general this is one thing that i try to look for is to spot the bottom it's very very tough to spot the bottom boom i'm involved on alawarian at 640 I think that price is fantastic. I think he can go back up to the high 600s where he was this morning when we don't get a hero pack today, uh, when I think a lot of people were expecting that. So um, just watch out for those types of cards on the market and watch out for those fluctuations and just be very quick to buy and to sell because take the money when it's there. This market this year being cross-platform is is just, it's crazier than ever, honestly. Um, seeing the prices move as much as they do. Now, lastly, but not least, I know we talked about a lot of SPCs and a lot of stuff on the market. Watch objectives, right? Because we saw Qatar players go up a lot and some of these other nations had players that went up a lot because they were needed in the World Cup swaps um, week one. I think it was actually the World Cup showcase, right? Your Japanese players went up because you needed to score um, with players from Japan. You needed English players and Spanish players from this. So, you know, if there's any specific requirements that are in objectives as well, for anything that's related to the World Cup, there will be price movements there as well. So just continue to keep a watch on the market. It's a great time to make coins. It's also, you know, a pretty easy time to lose coins as there's so much content related to the World Cup. That's where everybody's focus is. You know, you just kind of have to be careful with those fluctuations and the trades that you're making on the market. The last advice I would give, and we talked about it in yesterday's video as well, is just be careful with gold cards. Be very, very careful with gold cards. These are falling out of favor because they're just, you know, they're they're getting replaced. People have bigger and better cards that you can get from SBCs and from uh, objectives and, and stuff like that. And the new promo cards are dropping every single day onto the game. Uh, and, you know, those gold cards just get replaced. So I'll be very, very careful with those in general and just try not to trade with them too much um, unless it does like it's going out of packs even gold Kyle Walker that went out of packs okay he just shot back up a little bit now but he was getting panic sold this morning he was down to 69k and then and has risen up a little bit since then so just be very careful in this market but there are ample ways to make coins uh, of course we've got more promos upcoming I just switched screens on accident but I want to show you guys this this is from the EA website they have showed us here that we have got path to glory right now but then we have more promos coming soon so there's going to be a lot more more promos coming related to the World Cup, a lot more promo cards to trade with. We've got the World Cup heroes that are in packs right now. We got World Cup icons that are coming very soon. So just keep an eye on the market. There's a lot of content still to come. And if you use kind of the, the methods that we talked about in the video today to be able to make some quick flips or investments, uh, you're going to be doing great. You're going to be doing absolutely great on this game with making coins. So that's the video for me today. If it did help, make sure to leave a like down below, comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.